A web form creates a special kind of content type. So now we're going to talk about like, Drupal's, I guess, structure. How it's, you know, can you, how you can use Drupal to structure content. Um, so let's go back here. <coughs> now we have this submitted by admin on Tuesday, and you know stuff like this. And for a contact page, there, there is no, there is no need for that. So what, what, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go up into content or structure. And we'll click the structure tab, and we can see in the structure tab how Drupal structured contact and in, into blocks, which are like little reusable areas um, that you can use throughout the site. Um, your content types, your menus, and then obviously your schemas, database, and then taxonomy, which is categorization, and views, which are um, different ways to display different content. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> so let's um, we're going to talk about um, content types first. So by default, you know, if you just use the in installer, you get article, which is like a, a news or a blog post, and we got basic page, which is a static content page, like an about us page. It says, um, and then we have because of our we install the web form module, it gives us our web form. If I edit this, <coughs> um, you can kind of see that that you don't want to really touch the web form machine name. Leave it alone. Um, you can create different things, like change the description of the content. Uh, op, like the default options, so I don't want it to, to you know, be promote any time I make a web form. I do not want it to be pu published to the front page. Display settings, display author date and information field. New, no, I do not want that. And comment options, I do not want um, comment people to be able to comment on my web form notes. And menu settings, I can available menus give um, you know other menu options so that they can select different menus for for that. So I'm going to save that content type and I'm going to just go back to the home and I'm going to go to contact us and now we can see that that, that um, submitted by admin whatever is gone. But the great thing is <coughs> um, and this is the I guess you know oh, we'll talk about blocks first. I'm going to log out now we have this user login block here and this is a block and with the request new password now I do not want this on on my site I just don't want this here um, if if you're if you're new to Drupal you can type in you know slash user and it'll have this the same you know the same form there so I'm gonna log in and get rid of that <coughs> uh, what's my <laughs> admin I think it's admin and admin okay so I'm going to go to structure. I'm going to go to blocks, <coughs> and now um, every theme has their own regions for for blocks. Um, I'm going to click the demonstrate region for for this um, region. And I see that there's a header, there's a featured, there's a sidebar first, highlight it. You know all these different block locations, <coughs> and this might be what the kind of theme that you're after. You know. You can add easily add more theme, you know, um, locations, um, just as easily as you want to. But we're going to talk about that a little bit later. So I'm going to exit this block dem demonstration, and I want to go to um, user login, and I'm just I, I don't want that to be displayed anywhere. Um, this search form, um, I don't want that to be because I'm going to override it. I'm going to hit none. Navigation that can stay there for now. Um, so I'm gonna go there. Powered by Drupal. Mm, I'm gonna leave it there because because I like Drupal. I'm gonna go back to my home, and I'm gonna go. Oops. Log out. All right. Now I I don't have that login page. I don't have the block anymore. <coughs> so I'm gonna go user. I'm gonna log in. And I'm back in. Okay. So now we're gonna go to structure. Um, we're gonna make we're going to make uh, custom content types. So I'm gonna click on content content types and I'm gonna hit add content type. Now content type is a way to structure um, content creation. Um, so in our project, we're making a real estate site. So we're gonna call this property. So that's property. Add. property 
and publish options. I don't want it published to the front page. Um, I don't want it to be displayed the author and date information, and I do not want comments. And menu settings, I'm going to just leave it as default. <coughs> Alright, so we've created a new um, property uh, content type. And this will be the, the basics of, um, um, of the site. You know, the reason why people are going to come and check out properties to rent or buy or whatever. So I'm going to just um, click Manage Fields. And right now, because we already have, um, well, in Drupal 6 it was CCK, um, here it's file f or it's the fields, um, we can actually create new fields in order to gather data. All right, so an, an address uh, or an um, example for a property uh, would be like an address field or um, how many bedrooms. So let's... let's um, Actually, let's get some insp inspiration. Okay, I'm 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 not in the real estate in industry, obviously, <coughs> but um, I'm just at realestate.com.au um, for the moment, and I'm seeing some things here with bedrooms, bathrooms, you know, you know parking, um, you know, a bit of description, um, who the agent is, etc. So maybe um, we can say property type. So property type is definitely something we're going to need. So let's go back to our fields, and I'm going to say type. And if this is going to be a list text, it's not going to be a, a um, checkbox. It's going to be a select list. I'm going to hit save. Now allowed val values um, one. You have to put them in like a key pair. So one, or you could just go house and then the value of house is house. I'm going to add a few more. Pause it though. Um, yeah, I want to add some more. <clears throat> so I've got a list of um, properties, types, and I'm going to throw that in there. And I'm going to put my little key pair in there. Throw that in there. Well, oh. oops, it has the tabs on there. So I'm going to go like this. Just help with big lists. I don't want to type them. So that's the allowed save field settings. Yep. Um, so it's pro 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 property type. It's going to be a required field. And I'm going to say something useful to the agent when they're putting these things in. Select. Property type. Default value. I could give it a v default value. Um, but maybe house. And, you know, so it's not none. Um, number of values is going to be one, <coughs> and I'm going to save. So now I have type. So now I can go to content, add content, and property. I can give it a title, I can give it a body, and I can select my unit type. <coughs> okay. However, so so now we can actually get that type of data in there. So let's go back over to our real estate, and we'll click on you know like uh, just a random random property. Um, so we'll just look at the actual structure of this particular page. Um, uh, this has like I guess the per the place's address. It has a property number. It has the price of of whatever the you know the the thing is. It has the unit the type. It has this cool little widget of videos and and um, stuff, which we'll be making later. Um, <coughs> then it has, I guess, the agent information or who's selling it. Um, it has this little email agent button, which we'll be making. Um, and then it has like the the description and some then just some other stuff. 
And I can see that, like, <coughs> see over here, there's a little block here that has people also viewed. And this is like, there's an image, and there's like the title, and the unit type, and the price. That's what you can create with the module views. <coughs> but first, we have to actually get um, the, the content in there. Um, in order to kind of work with it, so let's go back to our um, let's go back to our structure content types property. We'll get manage fields, and we're going to need price. You know, price. You know, it's going to be a, be te not long text. It's going to be oh god, it's just going to be text. It's going to be a text field. Save. Save. It's not going to be required. Because um, that price field, you could say, offers over 700. I don't know, whatever. And so we got a price. We got um, property number. So, like, sorry. <laughs> Why not? So, property number. And this can be a text field, save, save field settings, and it's going to be required because it's going to need a property number, <coughs> and I'm going to hit save, and now, property number, I'm going to hit edit for a minute, um, and I'm going to go down here, oh, we need our tokens, anyway, field settings, you type, No, I'm not gonna go there. Sorry, live and learn. Property. Now, what uh, what else do we uh, what else do we got? So we got type, price, property number. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna need some images, aren't we? So let's add some images. Property images, and we're gonna select type uh, image. Save. Yep, public destination, default image, no, we're not going to bother with that, save. So, property images, it's going to be a required field, because at least need one image, right? Um, just give them a helpful note, please upload the images, right? Um, allowed file, file extensions. Um, we'll say property, like give it a file directory, so where it's actually going to be stored um, in our Drupal root, which are in our, so, so it'd be actually in sites, default files, um, where it's going to be stored. So I'm going to say property images, or maybe P for short, maximum resolution. I'm not going to set that. Um, ma maximum upload size, maybe five, so you don't want them absolutely massive. Um, enable alt field, sure, and, all, and enable to title field, that's great, and preview style, that's fine. And now, <coughs> the number of values, I'm going to set this to unlimited. And the reason why I'm going to do that, and I'm going to show you in a, in a second. Okay, so I'm going to also just say I want that rate up by the title. <clears throat> just change these things around all right so we <clears throat> so we've got we've got some some of this. let's let's just go ahead and create a demo so content add content property um, um, give me a title what's what's my title gonna be? Um, I'm not going to use this because I'm actually going to dynamically enter this once we add our, our location module. So let's just maybe say, I'm just co I'm straight up copying this. I'm never going to, you know, don't copy, but I'm just using it for to play devil's advocate. 999999999. Right? That's my price. It's going to be type house. I'm um, going to get some images. Um, Okay, pictures. Oh, that's a sweet picture of a house. Upload. 
test. Test. Now, if I want to, I can add another one. You know, where's my. Oh, get, some, get some bamboo happening. Upload. And I can add another one. Because I've set it to un unlimited, I can put as many um, pictures up there as I want. So, we're going to get some body text, and I'm just going to grab a bit of this just for the heck of it. Body text, I'm going to throw it in there just so we have something, and I'm going to just put it as plain text for now. Doesn't really matter, and property number, whatever it is. Um, I'm going to actually um, get some replacement patterns happening and show you how like you can automatically fill this because you don't really need to have a property number uh, unless it's specified so maybe I just you know I'm just gonna put it in 119 and just it's just random right and I'm gonna provide a menu link and I'm going to just say test well, property property main menu comments are closed um, automatic aliases I better configure that but it's going to generate uh, an automatic URL. That's cool. And I'm going to hit save. Okay. So now I've got this never seen before, whatever. I've got some content in there. I get type house, prices, and property images. And, and that's what it's looking like right now. And now, <clears throat> this is kind of, this is kind of, um, you know, kind of stupid because, you know, we, we, um, we don't want this to be themed like this you know like this is pretty ugly um, and so therefore our next tutorial is going to be um, talking about theming uh, you know an introduction to Drupal theming and how to actually display this <clears throat> how to actually um, make this look basically like whatever you want it to look like so um, URL just before before we go URL path settings um, for my, uh, basically, this uses a token of the property title um, in order to make the, the URL path. So for web web form, I'm just wanting to basic pages. I'm just having the node title. Um, web form, I'm gonna have the node title. Article path, I'm gonna say news slash that um, property properties slash I, I don't know. I'm say buy slash title and I'm going to save that. <sighs> so t my test property, I'm going to edit it. I'm going to go down to my URL settings. I'm going to say generate that, save. So now I can see my URL is buy that. Okay, so stay tuned for the next one to start theming this page. Actually, before we leave the subject of content types, I'm gonna go back into here, and like, let's just say I don't, I don't want um, to have this label here. So type house. I just want it to have it as a house. Now, by default, Drupal does um, without getting into the theme layer. Um, you can go into content types, um, you know, property, and you can actually manage the fields of this display. Content types, property, manage display. And you can actually say, you know, like say type. You can say, okay, I want this um, label inline, or I want price. I want it, I want that to be hidden. I want you know property number is fine. I want I don't want a label on my images, and I could change the styles of my images to, like say medium, and link to nothing or link to file, or if you use like a lightbox module or something like that. You can do it like that. So let's just update that and save it. And now let's go back to my. Let's go back to home, and we can go to not that one. So now we can actually see that they've changed it to thumbnails. And we've got rid of the the um, price label. We've changed this type um, node type to in <coughs> in line. Um, so you, there is a lot of fle flexibility straight off the bat of what you can you can do with it. You can arrange them where it's coming out. But basically, this is the um, what it is 
is the you're formatting um, a variable um, in your template um, called the content variable or node variable and it's displaying what we want to do but obviously if we want to make an awesome or a great website um, we're going to have to completely override that system and we're going to show you how to do that soon but in the next tutorial we're going to be talking about um, the location module and the GMAT module so we can actually add um, locations and searches and stuff like that um, based on the location of an actual place um, perfect for our real estate site. Oh god, that's spelled wrong. <laughs> Just notice that now. Okay, next tutorial.